there's certain points in your life where you got to say, forget everything and do you. You can't let opinions of others hinder you from reaching your higher self. I'm going to tell you something. Whenever you're about to break free of some type of captivity in regards of like, whether it's spiritually, emotionally, mentally, anything from family, right, that you want to break up and that you want to change about yourself, every time you're about to embark on a new endeavor and mission, there's always going to be somebody to remind you on why you, they feel like you should be in that same position as them all the time. You know what I'm saying? There were times where I did things and then people will always try to throw their little two cent in, right? To draw me back to the barrel. But living in a barrel with a bunch of crabs, right? You had, you being one of them never got you out of it. But then when you actually decide to try to get up the, 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 the barrel, right? There's always going to be another crab pulling you back down. And here's where your resiliency, here's where your thought, right? Here's where your fire come in. You got to fight that off, man. You got to fight those type of people off because those are people who don't want to think outside their box. I just made a video yesterday about everybody that's in your circle really supposed to only be in the box because they can't think outside of their box. Right? So when you surround yourself around people who can't think outside the circumference of their own awareness, they then put that on you and then guilt you if you do actually think outside of your comfort zone. And then you get drawn back because you have emotional cores attached to them, right? You get stuck there. And then you block off your potential gifts, your blessings that's coming to you. And then you wonder why you can't get to certain places in your life. And it's because as you're going to your higher self, you go back to your old self. I'm not saying like nobody's perfect and everything like that. But at the same time, if you're not even trying to fight the fact that the condition you're living in is not good for you, right? If you know there's certain things wrong in your life that you got to fix, and then somebody try to make you feel comfortable in your situation where you feel uncomfortable, when you feel uncomfortable, then you know you ain't supposed to be there. You got to fight those things off. You got to fight that old stuff. You always got to shed your skin and become a newer, better version of you for you. Not for nobody else. Not because somebody else told you to. No, do it for yourself. If you know you got a health problem, fix the health problem by eating better. Or doing things better. And never let nobody feel or make you feel bad about doing something that's beneficial to you. Ever. Because when you do that, right? The good things that are coming to you stemming from you doing the right thing is never going to come again. Because, you know, like there's blessings that come in in the form of people, food, and situations. Like, you might have a health problem and a person might come into your life to try to help you fix that, Right? And that might be the blessing right there to help you fix yourself. But there's always going to be parts of your old self pulling and tugging and trying to get you to stay in that same state of mind and that state of being, not knowing that you're dealing with a health issue that can be solved by you doing the right thing. But because you're going back to the wrong things, always listening to things and people and going back to habits that serve you no good, you do yourself a big disservice. You don't you cut yourself off from real growth for yourself for yourself man so what you got to start doing is you got to start saying no to the old things that hindered you before the things that had you in a bad situation before you got to say no to it and i'm not saying it's going to be easy because it's very hard because when you're around certain people and things like that it's hard to fight it off because you just it just surrounds you but let's say if you take it upon yourself to separate yourself from the rest right that do the same thing all day, every single day and everything like that. They don't want no change for themselves. They feel like they can't do no better without certain things in their life. You got to understand that you're different from them. You're different from those type of people. So when you do that, yeah, they're going to be pulling and tugging because they're going to see that you're getting out of the barrel. But you can't let them pull you back down in the barrel because you, no, you no longer serve a purpose inside of that barrel no more. You serve a bigger purpose in your life to, to liberate yourself from certain things that kept, that kept you captive. Don't be afraid to change. And don't be afraid of getting ridiculed or judged for changing. You're changing for a great cause for yourself. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. Because if you don't change, they're going to still ridicule you. They're still going to talk mad stuff about you. They're going to talk so much trash about you because you're making a change about yourself but the same then the same instance if you don't even make a change they're gonna ridicule you for not wanting to change yourself or not do something good for yourself so listen to yourself don't listen to nobody else
Do things for the betterment of you and not for the betterment of others. Do things for the betterment of you first so you can do the better, do things for the betterment of others. You got to do yourself first. You got to do yourself a great service first before you do anybody else's service. Acts of kindness, acts of love, so many forms of love. Like, it all comes from self first and then it goes out to other people. You ever hear the saying, the way you communicate with somebody is a direct, direct correlation on how you feel about yourself? The way you speak and, and treat people and the way you act towards people is a direct reflection of how you feel about yourself. So you got to do the due diligence of doing service to self to serve others. But ultimately, what I'm saying is, is when you're doing something for yourself, when you're changing yourself and the old versions of yourself come back to haunt you through other people and stuff like that, you got to block that out because you're in route to greatness. And that's one thing that's going to block you from your greatness if you keep on going back to the past, to past things that served you no purpose, that led you to detriment, that led you to destitution. Those things don't serve you no purpose no more, so you got to move on from them. And if it's people involved with that energy from the past, you can't listen to them. You can't listen to people who don't care about themselves but tell you to care about yourself. It's an, oxy, it's an oxymoron in itself. So you got to be around people who care about themselves so you can actually have the energy inside of you of caring. You got to have the energy inside of you of caring about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Listen, it's 2020, man. It's all about elevation. Okay? When you elevate and you keep on elevating and you tr and you doing the right thing for yourself, I keep, I'm going to tell you this one, it's going to be people and energies and certain forms of everything that's going to try to draw you back to your old self. Fight it. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. You know how many people becoming their best self now because they're letting go of things that hindered them in the past and letting go of bad habits and stuff like that. And I'm not saying in the fight, the fight going to be hard. The fight going to be hard, but I ain't worried about the fight. I'm worried about the entire war. Win the war. You're going to lose some fights and everything like that, but win the war, ultimately. But you got to fight. You got to, you got to battle back, though. You got to battle back. Battle back. Don't be scared. Don't be, nah, 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 nah. Battle back, right? Know that you are deserving of all great things that are coming to you. But first, you have to, you have to shed your old skin. You have to literally recreate yourself. And during recreation, there's going to be, there's going to have to be people who are going to be delete, deleted from your life. Real talk. You're going to have to delete some things during your cre recreation. It's okay though. It's part of it. It's part of the evolution. It's part of evolution, bro. When you when you evolve, you know what I'm saying? Like you you gotta you gotta let go of certain things that serve no purpose no more. Habits, people, ways of living, living conditions, environments, stuff like that. You have to sacrifice that. You have to get rid of it. It's gonna be hard, but you could do it. I believe in you. So keep on fighting and just don't be scared of that change, all right? Godspeed.